Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and in this lecture we will discuss about first responder toolkit. The first responder is the person who first access the victim's computer. He must be well prepared to collect the evidences from the crime scene in a manner that is accepted by the court. Therefore, availability of trusted digital forensic toolkit is necessary for the first responder. Some of the important steps in preparing first responders toolkit are create forensic tool test bed, document the forensic tool test bed, document the summary of the forensic tools and test the tools. Now we'll discuss these steps one by one in more detail. We will start with create forensic tool bed. The test bed should be created from the trusted sources and functionality of the test bed should be checked in advance before using them in the field. Some of the guidelines are identify the appropriate OS type your organization is using based on which the test bed is created. An organization may have variety of OS deployed in its network. For example, it may have Linux based servers and Windows and Mac based personal computers or laptops. In that case, one has to create multiple test beds for each OS type. This in fact the test bed from the availability of any data on the machine. Preferably use a new or fresh machine. In case a new machine is not available, use wiping tools to wipe out any data from the machine. Install OS and all the necessary software to conduct the forensics investigation. Ensure that the OS and all the programs installed in the test bed are updated to list latest versions. If any patches is required for the successful operation of the system, the same should also be installed. Compare hash to ensure the integrity of the file system. Second step is document the forensics tool test bed. It includes the following name, type and version of OS. Details of the types of various applications or software installed in the test bed along with the details of the upgrades and patches. Details of various types of hardware installed in the test bed. Details pertaining to the hash and checksum of the test bed. Third step is document the summary of the forensic tools. For every tool that is acquired for the test bed, the following information is documented for easy reference and record. Details about the source from where the software was bought. In case it's a freeware, mention the site or source from where the tool was downloaded. Detailed description about the purpose, working and compatibility of the tool with the OS and other software. Details of tools dependencies and the system effects which includes the details about the required system access levels by the user to run a tool and details of shared libraries. And the fourth step is test the tools. Now the tools selected and installed are tested in the test bed and its performance and output is examined. Some of the mistakes first responders should avoid Number one is do not shut off or reboot the machine. 
this will erase all the valuable data present in the volatile devices and number two do not assume that any parts of the victim or suspicious computer are reliable take precautions and follow procedures otherwise may accidentally trigger malware which will affect or change or delete volatile data